All right, Shalom, Kalla, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakah, Kadash, Rakah, Waha, Kadash. All right, double honors to the elder apostle of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers, teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe, underneath the banner and the standards of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. All right, I'm just going to go into it because, you know, lately there's been a lot of talk about, uh, Feminine emotions in Israel. All right, let's just say that. And uh, hey, man, it's time to get this this thing together, man. You know, get your emotions in check. This is a, a calling for men. You know, and uh, to stop being boys, man. All right. So the first thing I want to read is Second Editors 14 and 14. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of men, put off now the weak nature. All right. So the mortal thoughts that you have, which is, you know, worrying about death. You know, we know that death isn't real according to the, the scriptures. It is a real thing, but, you know, we believe in reincarnation. And you go to sleep for a short while, you know, but then you're brought back to serve out your judgment on the planet Earth, according to the, the Apocrypha, all right, Second Ezra, all right. Um, so that's not a thing to worry about. And then you have also the scripture, worry not about them that can destroy the body, but worry about him that can destroy that can destroy the mind, body, and soul, okay? Roughly paraphrasing, you know, uh, so that's not a thing for us to worry of anymore. You know, the the normal burdens of men is, you know, that shouldn't even be a thought anymore, period, for what's about to come, you know, martial law, FEMA camps, RFID chips, you know, so on and so forth. The war of Armageddon, okay? The day of deliverance, okay? All these, all those burdens of, of normal men should be cast all to the side, all right? And the weak nature is, hey, you can't love everybody, man. And when I say love, that means you can, uh, you can't teach everybody the scriptures. A big majority of our people are going to be slaughtered, okay? And that's just the way that the Lord has planned, planned it. And that's the way that, or the fashion of the coming of the kingdom of heaven is coming to the earth, all right? And the reason why two-thirds of our people have to be put to death, man, is because they have to be brought back in the kingdom of heaven in the right state of mind not right so let's just go to uh second Ezra 9 and 13 and open up the chapter we got one okay that's rocky Start from nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Okay, let's talk about the Israel Israelites, all right? For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty as yet place of repentance was open on to them understood not but despised them so while we're here okay when i say when we're here the, the apostles the prophets okay in this time while we're out there teaching on the highways and byways doing these video epistles 
the door of repentance is open to the to Israel, but just the elect of Israel, truly. Okay. All right. So they they have the time now to repent of their sins and come back in to the fold of the Lord. All right. And this is why this is why you can't beat yourself up any longer about the stance that the Heavenly Father has uh, taken or has written from the beginning. Okay. The same must know it after death by pain. Okay. So yeah, it's going to be some pain. All right. For these ungodly uh, people that don't put the Lord in their thoughts or say, you know, cases that's going on is uh, the case scenario that we're in. It's the worst case scenario that we need to uh, turn back to the Heavenly Father. Okay. So it's going to be death by pain, all right? And know that death by pain is going to come via uh, plagues, famine, uh, whatever you can think of, all right? But this is what he tells Ezra, okay? And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved whose the world is and for whom the world is created okay and that's that's what we gotta put our minds to in this present day and stop being emotional about uh taking the, the two thirds getting ready to be taken away man this time has allowed it for them to to uh, come back to the heavenly father and get the one third out of that two third, okay? Like it says right here in Zechariah, thirteen chapter, it says, "Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, and against the man that is my fellow," said the Lord of hosts. Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. And I will turn my hand upon the little ones, okay? So the Lord, we we've been through that, you know what I'm saying, and we're we're currently in that state right now all right okay because that's that's how we're sitting in a low place today man all right because in deuteronomy it says your king shall go into uh captivity with you so if the kings are in captivity with us, so was the priest, so was the 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 mighty men, so was you know all the host of Israel. Okay. The 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 substantiating uh, caste, so to speak, or the very uh, valuable caste of Israel, is sitting in a low place with us, man. So the Lord does. Uh, smite the shepherd okay and that's how we ended up scattered in everywhere okay due to the uh, the filth that we had produced on to the most high in the ancient days alright but now when he smite the shepherd that's just a, a way of saying that you know he made all of us discontinue from the heritage just like the scriptures say okay and that's why he said and I will turn my hand upon the little ones and the little ones are that that little remnant and then it shall come to pass that in all the land said the Lord two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third shall be left therein and that's the little ones right there the third part one third okay now we're bringing the third part through the fire and we'll refine them as silver is refined he's doing that with this word man 
nor tried them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my power. So, you know, when you see those other camps out there, man, you know, they acting like emotional women, man. Okay? Because it's scripted right here what, what we're supposed to do, man. After being discontinued from our heritage with the, uh, with the caste that was put on the slave ships, kings, princes, uh, uh, priests, okay? And we got our heritage taken, okay? We're to come back on to the Lord, like it says in Zechariah 13 and 9, and use that name, not, not uh, uh, Jesus Christos, okay? Not that we supposed to use the name of Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh, which is the Father, and Yahweh Shai being the Son, okay? That's what we're supposed to be doing, man. That's how we get back to uh to the fold, all right? said in Ezra and that's why you got to cast away the mortal thoughts and then uh, uh, the burdens of men because check this out right here he says Luke 12 and 30 for all these things do the nations of the world seek after okay and your father knoweth that you have need of these things or rather ye but rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added on to you. All right? Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. All right? So that's what we got to worry about. All right? And stop being emotional about, uh, like it says in, uh, It said in uh, what was that? Uh, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, Slaki. Yeah, that's why he said, Worry not. Okay, right here, verse 13. Because he got you covered. In Luke 12 and 32. Alright. It's not our job, man. Our job is not to do that, but to push forth the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> and do this. Second Andrews 1 and 5. Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds, their children their wickedness, which they have done against me that they may tell their children's children, okay? And how do we do that? We do that through the Holy Scriptures, man, okay? The whole book, not cherry-picking this piece and that piece. You know, it's nothing that can be answered by the, the pages in the Holy Scriptures, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man, all right? So when we're embarking on this thing, we... We got, we have to count the whole cost, man. Okay, and be not weary, and have faith unto the Lord, and told death, like the scriptures say, man. And some won't be able to do it. Okay, well, most won't be able to do it, all right? Because it says, uh, uh, many shall be called, but few shall be chosen scriptures too all right let's go to uh, second Ezra 15 and 7 
It says, Therefore said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in these things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cries unto me, and the soul of the just complain continually. So you got them two thirds, man. <clears throat> they just like to wallow in the muck and the mire, man. Okay? But then you have the one third elect that's ready to get up out of here, man. All right. Verse 9. And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Okay? And that's to talk about the salvation coming. All right. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. All right. So this is what we have to set our, our mind to when you read Second Ezra 14 and 14. All right. Because things about to start going down heavy okay things are already happening things are happening every second and moment of the day but you know you have to get ready for the the, the fiery trial man okay but I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof Egypt shall mourn, and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plagues and punishment that God shall bring upon it. Okay. All right. So, hey, this, this, this right here, man. This is how we have to think from here on in, man. Okay. If you can't think this way, man, it's going to be tough times for you, man. Does not the scripture say, gird up thyself, or gird up thy loins as a man? Okay. Yeah. Get right. Get tight, man. You know? Tighten up. more to say about it but this is just you know spirit speaking to me and uh hey if you can't do what second as it is 14 and 14 say then everything's a wash man okay so with that i want to say 